As you can see, I have my lovely bed. Right now, main point, keep your chin close to your neck, almost as if you're doing a double chin. And as you can see, I changed my words. Uh, that will prevent uh, your neck from going left to right all over the show. What you're gonna do now is if you got your hand placement and everything, you're gonna stand up, you're gonna shift your weight forward. And if you need to, give a little bit of a spring. And then test it out, have fun. If your roll isn't exactly like that and it looks more like this, don't fret, it just comes with practice. And the more you do it, the more you have fun, the more your body gets aware of this new movement. Eventually, it will look more like a forward roll. So have a go on your bed. I start off with the bed because not only is it obviously fun to mess around, it also provides a little bit of comfort and offers me a, a lot of cushion to, if I were to go, whoopsie, I can still look fabulous. <laughs> so step one is complete. Now, to the floor. But JJ, what about rolling from standing? Hold on, hold on your horses. This is a beginner's mindset that we're trying to do here. So for now, we're gonna go on a soft surface of your choice. I have this lovely ruggy, feels nice, floor. And we're just gonna get into the loop. But good question though. Okay, so here we go. My hands, I like to have them a bit shoulder width apart, like right here. My neck and my chin are gonna collect, and it's gonna sound like a Martian, like that. My head is gonna be, gonna be on the floor, and then what I'm gonna do is shift from my legs in this direction, so towards you. So here goes. I just wanted to re say that if for whatever reason your role looks more like this and you feel like keep on practicing this is something that you can come back to review play around with it Make sure you're doing it in a safe manner. And I would encourage you, if you want to take your skills to the next level, click on here for the next video.